All right, everybody, Stocks by the Numbers, welcome back. And this is exactly why I mentioned down in the twos, and even as we started to climb into the higher twos and the low threes, I said that in my opinion, we looked at the fair value in my eyes on LAC, and I said that we may have bottomed out. The U-turn recovery, the curl is potentially coming. I was looking for the stock to get back above $4, which as you see today, it did during regular market hours. Now the stock is up a little over 2% additionally after hours on news of them now securing and locking up that loan from the DOE. So LAC, Lithium Americas Corp, listed here on the New York. This is, of course, Lithium Mining Company. We're talking about Thacker Pass in Nevada. And again, this is technically, I believe, we're looking at like 2026, 2027 by the time we actually start mining. But not only were people pumped about this before they spun off the company, again, we have LAC, which is this one here in North America. We have LAAC, which is the lithium being mined down in South America. So they spun off the two companies, two separate symbols now. But people continue to keep an eye on LAC. And even when the stock split and did their spinoff, it started out at $10 a share. But I feel that people saw what was potentially on the horizon three, five years from now, having what could be, they're saying, the largest lithium producer in North America. So if that's true, then again, a lot of short-term traders, they may have bought in up at nine, ten dollars You see the stock slip down to the sixes, the fives. You start to get upset. You start to second guess yourself. A lot of other people who had consistent income, what were they doing? Oh, it's down at six. Fantastic. I'll buy more. I'll average down. They beat it up all the way down to $3. Fantastic. I'll buy more. I'll average down. So this is what I mean when I talk about looking at a at a position over the longer term trying to see the broader picture seeing the writing on the wall and when it doesn't immediately run and explode like some of the other trending stocks you shouldn't begin to doubt the situation you shouldn't really begin to question yourself this is why we speak about doing research and doing due diligence because if you make sure that every t is crossed and every i is dotted you know, it doesn't matter if LAC went from seven down to two. It didn't matter. We like it at seven. We should love it down at two. And we should be accumulating shares and building a position, right? If it's a sound stock for the long term, I'm saying, of course. But LAC, just phenomenal news here, popping up here to above $4 a share today, as expected. And now we can see 430. The stock is starting to move, gain momentum. News is spreading. 3.86% as we see Lithium America's edges up after hours as it secures a $2.26 billion U.S. Department of Energy loan for Thacker Pass. So we spoke about this not only on the uh, U-turn recovery, look at that, just absolutely beautiful. And as we were climbing up here and we did updates like around here sometime, this is why I was saying, uh, in my opinion, I see the U-turn recovery taking place. I see that we can get back to this level. Could be the low fours. And then we also spoke in previous updates about the timeline updates that the company has given us, right? And we spoke about how going into the end of 2024 here, rolling into early 25, we have some potential headlines and some catalysts that can come out that can cause the stock to pop back up and we might be able to reclaim, you know, five, six dollars and change going into the new year or even potentially coming out of it. That's why when we crunch the numbers and I said, in my opinion, I think we came up with maybe like 235, 240 a share or something like that was like fair value. So that's why as it was approaching the low threes and going into the twos, in my opinion, I, I kind of knew it was a buy. But of course, you guys know I can't really relay that in in that fashion. But um, again, you know, I, I call it like I see it. And LAC, I think, is something that, in my opinion, could be huge. And we spoke about the potential turmoil that could be popping off overseas over, well, currently and over the next couple of years, maybe. So this is why you're seeing now kind of we're trying to bring manufacturing back into the States. Now, you know, instead of importing all of this uh, lithium from China, we want to start mining our own and have our own domestic source of lithium. So this is why even regardless of share price. I personally have been speaking pretty highly about all of these metal, all of these material companies, your, your Alcoas, AA, SECO, LPX, right? And something like LAC, even when it went from 10 to 2, this is why I stayed on top of it. 
because if you have billions coming in and they're trying to again secure the the whole facility and begin construction and and start to uh, speed up this whole mining process then obviously it should only spell further success for something like LAC but this is huge because initially on the news people were pumped about it because of course it's a couple of billion dollars and it's basically the the bulk of how much they said was required from them to get up and running and now again we heard news about a GM recently and now we have the LAC securing the uh, DOE loan here again two and a quarter billion so technically this is all good news for LAC and obviously we can see now it's climbing even further it's up about six and a quarter percent now after hours in my opinion that this might easily bring it back up to five and change believe it or not that's just me that's just my opinion let's check out some recent news though before uh, this news that literally just hit like 20 minutes ago as you see this was posted 30 minutes ago i just wanted to give it a minute let it digest and then i jumped on and did a video because i had a feeling that we were honestly in my opinion i had a feeling we were going to see at least like 10 12 percent off of this move and initially we had like a two three percent move and you just saw with your own eyes the stock's now up seven percent so this is the move that i was personally expecting off of this news so that's why now over the course of the next couple of hours we may actually see the stock run up to you know 465 485 believe it or not but uh stock right now seven and a half percent market cap on the close 900 million and that's not too overextended here again in my opinion let's recrunch the numbers real quick i know i just said let's look at the news but now i'm going to the numbers what's going on here we go we're looking at the numbers okay so we have a big chunk of cash on hand, right? A couple of hundred million. Look at the debt. We brought it all the way down, right? We spoke about that in previous videos. It's sitting here at four million, nothing, drop in the bucket. We have assets heavily outweighing liabilities on both the short and the long term. So if we take roughly 370 million in cash, this is what I mean. And that's why now we look at the equity that has been steadily climbing, liabilities completely checked down, assets up to almost 700 million, we have positive equity, 664 and a half million, we'll call it, plus that 370. That's what I mean. We're up to like a billion, a billion and change. That's why we've seen the book value consistently climb up. And even when it was down here at sub two, two and a half, I was saying, in my opinion, I like it for the long term. And it was even trading at around two and a half. And we were saying, oh, it's basically at book value, right? It, it technically really shouldn't go much lower. And now we can see the book value consistently starting to climb. It's now above $3 and the stock made that U-turn turn recovery after bottoming out because the fundamentals in the numbers were just too healthy to continue to bring it down you understand because even if they broke let's say the low twos oh i'm sorry i just hit the mic i hope you didn't hear that but 202 right we brought it down we hit those lows technically we're looking at the numbers here 202 technically is too low right so we kind of had the flash crash below quote unquote fair value level then you instantly started to see the pops and the u-turn recovery and the new volume come back into the stock because it was oversold it was overshorted it was overextended so we had to step in and buy that low now and and kind of cause this second wave of momentum to come into the stock so that's why the whole time it was down there, I kept an eye on it. And anytime people ask me about it, I said, you know, in my opinion, I would personally, you know, continue to keep buying, build up the shares. And uh, we got news again of the DOE loan coming in. And then we got the GM news recently. So it seems like everyone sees value here with LAC. That's what I said, in my opinion, when we were speaking about the $2 billion or whatever coming in from the DOE. That's what I said, in my opinion. I said that cements this position as something of value you don't throw two and a quarter billion into something to just piss it away although uh, you know with all due respect uh, our government does do that from time to well not really from time to time it happens all the time but you understand what i'm saying right because we're talking about a domestic source of lithium this is a little bit different than some random you know government uh service that they launched or, or something like that but in the numbers here about a billion and you can see the market cap came up almost to a billion 900 million and now we're continuing up after hours so that's what i mean if we're putting fair value at a billion now they just secured a two billion dollar loan i mean technically we, we should be on the up and up that's why to bring this market cap up to in my opinion one and a half even two billion isn't too extreme i mean they literally just got handed a loan for two billion 
So to say the company is worth at least, you know, one and a half, two, two point two billion, you know, you're you're not really fishing for the moon in the lake. That that is realistic in my opinion. But I wanted to get to the news also because I know recently, here we go, a couple of days ago, uh, price target raised from two and a half. Again, this was technically before this news just came out of the of securing the DOE loan for two point two six billion, and we have a uh, Deutsche Bank. <clears throat> Keeping a hold on LAC raises price target from two and a half to three ten. Uh, BMO resumes coverage with a market perform rating. Remember, market's been raging, so to say it's going to perform in line with the market is a positive statement. And we have raised price target to three and a half. Right, so all of a sudden now everyone has a price target of three and change, three and a half, four dollars a share. That's what I mean. Because we've seen the fundamentals keep growing, the liabilities came down, assets keep growing. We have the investment of a couple of hundred mil from GM. We have investment of a couple of hundred bill uh, of a couple of billion from the DOE. So this is what I mean. Now all of a sudden there's value here. So every analyst looking at the situation is saying, no, three and a half, no, four and a half. There's a, there's a five dollar stock, right? And now we're starting to see that surge come into LAC. Arkansas may be sitting on 19 million tons of lithium. Fantastic. Lithium Americas maintained sector performed by Scotia Bank. Price target cut from three dollars to two fifty. That guy needs a cup of coffee. He's not paying attention. After Nevada lithium deal, GM eyes other sources for it. Well, of course, it sounds like GM is trying to position themselves and cement themselves as one of the main players now moving forward in the EV market, I guess, to rival uh, Elon Musk and Tesla. So as we know, GM has a, I, I think it was what, like 30, 30%, 38% or whatever interest in this mine with LAC. And now apparently... GM is looking for other sources as well. So they're, they're trying to have, it sounds like, 20-30% of each lithium deposit that we find here domestically. And, you know, more power to them, I guess, if they're trying to, uh, you know, kind of head it off at the intersection, if you will. Uh, lithium America is raised to outperform by National Bank. Price target raised... Okay, from 575 Canadian to 725 Canadian. Okay, I'm not exactly precise on the conversion right now, but it's a higher price, so that is better. Um, I don't know, but what? Seven, seven and change Canadians? What? That's like five, right? Like four and a half, five dollars? We'll go with that. We'll, we'll call it five dollars. That's what it should be, right? But that's my opinion. Lithium America is upgraded to outperform. Price target raised to seven and a quarter. Oh, wait, see, this says dollars, though. Not Canadian dollars. Uh, yeah, 625 million joint venture from GM. 38%. There you go. Uh, view this announcement as a positive. De-risking the completion of the DOE loan. Yep. Shout out to them because that was, um, yeah, like 10 days ago. And they said that. And now, obviously, we have news of, of the loan going through. So, well done. Well done, Bank of Canada. Good analyst over there. Lithium America's maintained by its stifle as it forms JV with GM. Price target kept at $10. Respect to stifle. That, in my opinion, is probably where the stock should be. Because, again, that'll bring us only to about $2 billion and change. I think we said at around $10 a share, you're talking about like two and a quarter, $2.4 billion market cap. Which, one, isn't too extreme. And, two, was the value of this of this arm of 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 lithium americas when they spun it off it started at ten dollars a share so to say it's worth at least ten dollars a share and it's you know a two billion and change company that's again not too crazy in my opinion that's kind of where we should go and if we slowly get there again if we slowly climb the news spreads people start to buy into lac again and we slowly make our way back up to ten dollars in my opinion i would agree with that we can't necessarily exploded to that price instantaneously because technically we're not up and running yet however at the same time we do know that as lac spun off that was when lithium was at the highest prices and went into a massive sell-off basically since then which is why lac stock went from 10 and just instantly started to drop down to two and a lot of people were like what, what the heck's going on well the hype not necessarily the hype died behind it, the supporting commodity underneath it went down. 
And of course, perfect analogy is something like Hershey, right? They're trying to keep Hershey down and they constantly cite the rising cost in cocoa prices. So that would negatively affect Hershey, right? Very, very similar situation. So quick little comparison for you there. Uh, deal offer shareholders a much fairer valuation on the underlying asset. Yep. Okay. Okay. We are encouraged by the announcement. Okay. B. Riley raises price target from four to four and a half. See what I mean? Everyone now. Oh, no. It's worth at least four and change. It's worth $5 stock, $10 stock. Shout out to them. Uh, reiterate its buy rating on investment agreement with GM. That, that's what I mean. We heard news. B. Riley heard news of this JV with GM. And they said, no, it's a buy. It's still a buy, right? They reiterated it. It's still a buy. And now, no, it's four and a half, not even four. And boom, there we go. We're there already. Okay. National Bank. Yep, we saw that. Okay. Yeah, we did the update. Yeah, it was right back here. It wasn't too long ago. It was about two weeks ago on the news of the deal with uh, General Motors. And now... We have this news on the loan closing with the Department of Energy. So stock again right now after hours 443 up another 29 cents, an additional 7%. And it's funny because, oh wait, where was I? I might have to take here. Uh, you can kind of see it. This was today, right? And you can see we spiked up and then we began kind of channeling down, right? So it looked like we had a potential pull and then a flag. And I was looking at that and I was saying to myself, wow, should I do uh, an update video on LAC real quick and just, you know, speak about, look at that, just speak about that beautiful U-turn recovery that we spoke about that came to fruition. And should I mention that I see what looks like a, a potential bull flag setting up here. And then as I was sitting here contemplating, the news came out that they secured that loan. So you know, it, it kind of looks like maybe we don't want to go down the rabbit hole, but it kind of looks like a couple of people may have kind of knew what was coming today. But uh, either way, it's fine. You know, we were looking at a stock again that was kind of getting beaten up. A lot of people were pretty confused. They didn't know, is the long-term value still there? Should I hang on? Should I add to the position? Should I be worried? You know, what do you think? And we spoke again about this beautiful U-turn recovery, fantastic big cup going on. And now remember, again, if we want to make a potential long-term uh, technical pattern, then we can have this three, f no, wait, this is like a seven, five, where was this? April, May. So what's that? Four or five. So yeah, this is like a five, six month, my apologies. It's like a six month U-turn here, six month cup. And then remember, we can potentially calm down and handle and then we can pop, right? So you have to keep that in mind as well. On this news, in my eyes, we can potentially continue to run up and get back to kind of where we were here, the high fours, maybe 490, potentially pop right there to that previous bottom, right? Looking like about maybe around five and a quarter. And then we can maybe quiet down, consolidate, and even come back down to where we were when we first got the news after it calms down, the news cycle changes. And that'll most likely, in my eyes, lead not only into next earnings, uh, again, end of November, but it, we're basically just making sure the company isn't reporting a huge loss because we know they're not mining yet, right? But also, after we come up, we can start to pull back down. And then in my eyes, I think once the ball drops and we go into the January effect, I think that something like LAC, I have a feeling personally, this is going to have a stellar 2025. And even if they're not mining yet, I just think that the price targets are going to be raised. I think that a lot more analysts, a lot more hedge funds are going to say that they have their eyes on LAC. I think they're going to get a lot of favorable press and a lot more positive catalysts than negatives. And that's why I think 2025, especially after a rough 24, I think is going to be uh, really good for LAC. But let's look at stock charts real quick. I'll let you go. So we can see that we bottomed out hitting this low. At times, look at the RSI. RSI was sub 30. That's what I mean. People were just basically waking up and shorting, taking positions against LAC because they knew it was connected to lithium prices. So we saw the big drop off in lithium prices again. And that's why something like the RSI is very hard to, to uh, you, you can't use it in my eyes as the number one gauge with something like LAC. And again, when we compare it to other material metal companies, you know, something like an Albermel or something like that, ALB, 
you have to remember that company is already doing existing revenue right so there's always the the fair value of the fundamentals to catch the bottom and that's why and in an existing company when you approach 30 27 rsi that's when people will pile in because they are pretty confident they expect a little bit of a bounce and a little bit of a rebound something like lac the underlying metal uh m mineral was a uh, dropping in value the entire time and the company still technically on paper wasn't generating any revenue so they basically tanked it down as i said to the quote-unquote fair value of the business then it bottomed out then the curl began to take place but we can see that even before the news the stock closed up here at 414 popping up and closing well above the 200 day moving average which was coming down here 385 stock 414 after hours 438 so we're still up a nice chunk macd was basically consistently climbing up over because i know we crossed up and then crossed down so i'm looking like from here since like the middle of september we basically have been steadily climbing on the up and up finishing off this beautiful u-turn rsi now on the daily 73 and a half we'll call it obviously i'm sure it's probably around the same level if not higher after hours but because this is fresh news, and this is probably what a lot of people were waiting for, this is why I think, in my opinion, it does run up back up to 5 or maybe like 480, 490 was the level I looked at. And uh, then it may cool down. Some people may take some short-term profits. Let's look at the weekly. We can see the RSI, while it was climbing over the last several weeks and the stock made a huge comeback, we can see the RSI still below 60. So in the longer term time frame, we can keep going, which is why, again, tomorrow, Tuesday, we can continue off the news. Daily RSI will be well above 70. Then potentially the next day, it starts pulling back one or two days, right, and readjust. And then potentially next week, it can pop up and take the next leg higher and try to get to the fives. Because on the longer term time frame, we still have upward momentum we still have potential to keep climbing and the 50-day moving average on the weekly <clears throat> 428 stock right now above that sitting here at 434 still up almost five percent on this uh, doe news so technically we are above the 50-day moving average on the weekly which is technically bullish so that's why i'm saying we may continue up to the 470 485 dollar level here in the short term so anyone who jumped in recently here in the low twos again you know if you want to flip that in in the short term i understand of course more power to you phenomenal call glad you got involved but again for the longer term if you are able to hold this one for a couple of years because that's how long they need if you are able to hold this one in my opinion i think it's going to be pretty big i do because it seems like there's a lot of attention around lac and this stacker pass location and again, we have GM, a couple of hundred million, DOE, a couple of billion. Now everyone's trying to get involved. Everyone wants to get this kind of up and running. So that's why I think, in my opinion, I, I think it'll be good. As of right now, unless some story changes somehow, I think it'll be good. Running back up here, 1092. Again, we're going to need a lot of price target raises. We're going to need some catalysts to come out on the company maybe they're ahead of schedule or something right we we need some some positive headlines like that and also of course if lithium prices start to climb up in value again we can potentially see this stock slowly run up back to like seven eight and uh again we don't know how the first like quarter of 2025 is going to look so if we continue on the up and up and uh, certain companies like lac get specific attention who knows maybe we could get back to 10 10 plus pretty soon but obviously only time will tell but that news of securing the loan obviously is big news so that's why i jumped on wanted to do a quick update here uh this pivot point 943 on the weekly again we're going to need a big surge to get back to the nines and the tens but realistically here five shouldn't be an issue let's look at some of these previous pivot points here because we've been on the down and down so see how the second level resistance has just consistently been stepping down you can see it bottomed out here at about 326 328 or whatever but we can see if we go back here what's this level 427 <clears throat> which is basically the old moving average that we looked at on the weekly right we're at we're sitting here at 432 which oh no wait i'm looking at the wrong line <laughs> no we'd have to go back what's this one 
437. Look at this. This is going back to the support and resistance levels back in March of 24. And we can see one of these pivot points was about 437, it looks like. And that's basically where the stock ran to kind of and then pulled back. It paused. It bounced around that 437, 438 level. Right now we can see, I guess, technically slight rejection there. It's at 432. But back here, see this level we're looking at like 513, 514. That's why, in my opinion, I was saying to, to come back up here to the top of the gap down at 490 and then continue up to like the next bottom. 528 530 or whatever it is in my opinion i i think that's where it's going uh especially off of this news because again it was quiet when the news first hit and now the stock started to gain momentum again we're up six percent roughly after hours but i'm not going to talk your ear off that's pretty much the news and uh, obviously anyone who added to the added to the position or you know hung on and remained confident knowing that you know you'd be able to weather the storm and the stock would be okay obviously this is the type of news that you were waiting for and in my opinion just solidifies potential long-term value here with LAC that's the way I'm um, interpreting all of this, but that's pretty much it. So I'll end it there. Once again, this is Stocks by the Numbers. I want to thank you for stopping by. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop it down in the comments section. I'm usually pretty quick to reply. Thumbs up algorithm helps me get more eyes on the channel. And of course, subscribe to the channel. That is our handshake agreement. That is how you help me help you. But of course, more importantly, moving forward, like I always say, I understand that markets are rocky, they're volatile, and they are very uncertain. So I want to wish all of you success. I hope everyone makes a couple of dollars. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.